So here we have a 1991 Caterham Super 7. It's currently listed on Bring a Trailer. And uh, sorry, it's not very sunny today, but uh, wanted to give you a quick walk around of the car, show you some of the highlights. Uh, back in 2013 and 2014, uh, retired engineer spent a whole lot of time and a whole lot of money bringing this car back up to this beautiful condition. Uh, as you can see, most of the bodywork is the polished aluminum. Uh, and it's got the fiberglass fenders and nose cone. Uh, the engine in it is a 1700cc Ford Crossflow. Uh, it was fully rebuilt uh, back in 2013 and 14 and dynoed at about 135 horsepower, which is the Super Sprint spec. Um, they also added an aluminum uh, gearbox casing and bell housing to it to reduce the weight. And the gearbox was rebuilt. Uh, but the majority of the car has been gone over. Uh, it does have the Didion rear end on it. Uh, all the brakes were replaced back in the time. Uh, it's got some sticky Yokohama tires on it right now. Uh, there's tons of tread left on those. Uh, but the attention to detail was what really sets this car apart. All the suspension has got some wrapping on there to prevent stone damage. Uh, it's adjustable spec suspension, uh, front and rear. Uh, there are a couple of little small dings. You can see one there. Uh, some stone chips here and there. A little bit of cracking around some of the the, st uh, the screws, but overall the, the car is in just fabulous condition. Uh, I've owned several of these cars and this one drives extremely well. Uh, sounds beautiful. It does have the competition exhaust. That's a four into one side exit. And uh, another, it's kind of hard to point out, a little small thing there could easily be taken out with a somebody with a bit of skill of paintless dent removal uh, on the rear fenders uh, there is some protective tape up to this area uh, you can see just from where stones have hit it underneath there's a few few kind of cracks but otherwise great condition uh, as you can see it does have the side curtains on it uh, it's got the adjustable leather seats But inside is super clean. You can see the wiring up underneath the dash. Very nice and clean. Everything on the dash is labeled. Uh, it's got the new stack instruments. Uh, but there's oil pressure warning lights there. Uh, there's a little fire extinguisher back here. Uh, the roll bar is the upgraded version. Uh, it is a Caterham one. Uh, but it's uh, a bit thicker than the standard and it's got the dual cross pieces on there uh, The spare tire is removable um, You can see down there you can pull a couple of clips and take that whole bracket off and then there's an extra uh, license plate light back there uh, It's got the quick release fuel cap um, You can see uh, a couple of little dings there. I think something was rolling around in the trunk uh, it's got the motor leader steering wheel and uh, it's just a really nice place to be inside there. Seats, there's a little mark on the driver's seat, but overall for uh, the age of the car, it's, I'd say that it's in really nice condition. Uh, the windshield is heated. Uh, again, very good condition. Uh, it's got the battery cutoff switch. It's got the twin webbers sticking out there, make a lovely sound. But, uh, it does have some upgraded turn signal markers there. They're a little bit different from ones usually seen on this age of car. But uh, there she is.